Hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode. Today you get to watch me playing. Now what's this? What's this on the screen? It's an M53, M55 Tier 9 American Artillery by many viewed as the best artillery SPG in the game. And I have one. What? You have an artillery? You're playing an SPG? Well, yeah, I'm playing an SPG. And I suck at playing SPGs. And I just got the, the biggest gun. I played it stock for about, I don't know, 40 games with a little gun. Uh, and why am I playing artillery? And, uh, you know, because I suck at artillery and I don't really like artillery. But uh, I'm playing it because, um, well, even stock. Well, let, let me make a long story uh, long here. I free XP'd. Uh, I, I played the Chaffee and the Chaffee unlocks... Uh, I think a tier five or six artillery, and then I free XP'd all the way to tier nine uh, because I had a lot of convert and uh, free XP. And uh, why did I do that? To get the I didn't want to grind artillery and play a thousand games. I just wanted to get one artillery, one that was among the best in the game, to complete the campaign missions. Uh, because I'm at uh, I'm in the fourth campaign and I'm quite a way through the fourth campaign. I completed com campaign one, two, and three. But I always, I just did the light, medium, heavy, and SPG. No, sorry. The light, medium, heavy, and TD. And skip the SPG, because you only have to do, if you do all four, the f mission 15 with honors on all four, then you, you don't have to do the SPG mission. So I was able to, to get the first three campaigns done without doing the SPG missions. But uh, now that I'm on the, the fourth set, I, I look back and say, well, wait a minute. Uh, there's three free female crew members that I'm leaving on the table there. By not completing the SPG missions, doing mission 15 uh, in the SPG missions, you win a female crew member. And I want the female crew members. I'm going to put one on my, in my Italian tank when it comes out. When the new Italian line comes out, I want a female for, for that line. Probably put the female in the Progetto. And... Um, so I played this thing, uh, stock. I just I free XP'd it and had the small gun and, and I completed the stage stage one. And look at this. The, the replay there's a replay bug here, guys. The green line is not green, it's red. Uh, I don't know. I'm just looking around the map to see where I have shots, and I have no shots. And like I said, I suck at artillery, and I'm playing on Himmelsdorf, which is one of the hardest maps, I think, for artillery. And I'm realizing I, I've got no shots where I went where there's clear line of sight. I have to help the hill here. So I'm going to move into a spot where uh, you can look at the mini-map and get a pretty good idea where you think you can have lines that you can shoot. Now, I don't have direct shots here, but <laughs> watch this. This is the big gun. Watch, watch. Here we go. <laughs> it is quite fun. <laughs> Sitting back, you know, just safe and sound as far as ways possible from everyone. I'm just blasting people. <laughs> I can see why people can't stand being hit. Well, I can't stand being hit by artillery. But like I said, I'm completing the campaign. And I, I always show you my first game when I get a new tank. And I, I, I apologize. I, I do not have the first game here. I played 30 or 40 and they were deleted. But this is the first game because uh, I binge played one day. <laughs> this thing as soon as I got it. Uh, but now... And this is another replay bug. I'm not loaded yet. Oh, there you go. That was close. <laughs> I'm just trying to support the guys on the hill here. But so I, I completed the whole first 15 for the uh, first uh, campaign. Now I'm on the second campaign. I completed the first 14 easily because most of the missions are, you know, stun people five times, uh, uh, stun people for 50 seconds. Uh, Enable your uh, allies to do a thousand damage when you stun people. And with this tier nine, this thing here is just ridiculous. Uh, like, look, I'm not even going to hit these guys. <laughs> you know, they're stunned. My guys are going to shoot them. So now I'm on a uh, mission 15 of the second campaign, which I have to do 1500 damage. I have to allow my teammates to do 1500 damage to tanks I have stunned. I have to win, and uh, I think I think that's what I have to do. Uh, and finish in the top three in XP. So that's the one I'm on now. And this is the first game I've played with this thing with the big gun. Now, I'm not great at artillery, but I always show you, you know, games. And I'm not going to sit around, you know, just because I'm in artillery, I'm not going to just sit around and, you know, twiddle my thumbs, thumbs all game. If, 
if I see an enemy, I'm going to actually... Okay, if this youth goes out there and, and shoots them on the reload, I'm going to take a shot. Are you going to go? All right, fuck it. You're not going to go? All right, he's, he wants the artillery to go first. Okay, I'll take the hit. I'll go. Here we go. Let's trade. There you go. <laughs> critical hit. The guy's got no armor. Critical hit. God damn it. But I did 400 stun assist or something. I'm still getting stun assist. Come on, kill. If you don't kill him, I'm blasting both of you. This is the way I'm going to play artillery. Okay, there. <laughs> I don't see the target. Of course I don't see the target. The target's dead. So I'm, I've gone to the dark side and I'm playing artillery. I'm not going to consistently play artillery as a new... I'm not going to grind new lines or anything. But I want to uh, finish the... Uh, complete the missions. If I can get mission 15 in the second campaign done, then that's two female crew members that I've got that I can earn. And those female crew members are really important because they start out with the two skills, right? Uh, Sisterhood of Steel and uh, uh, Sixth Sense. So why not? And here, oh, I, I'll blast you both. No, I won't hit my teammate. I'm going to let him know here. Uh, he's not going to back up. He's going to take that guy. So I'm not just going to sit around. I'm going to play artillery. I'm moving in. And this thing's pretty fast. Uh, a lot of people consider this to be the best artillery in the game. The British ones are pretty good too. Except the hang time on the shell is so long, sometimes you miss if targets are moving. But I'm not an artillery expert, but watch this. Okay, I'm coming in, buddy! Full health, who's gonna kill him? There's five teammates there going after you, yeah? Yeah, up the ass for you! Got him! Oh shit, I killed myself. Holy shit, this thing has a big splash radius. All right, hey, you're welcome, guys. How many are? One, two, three, four of you? Yeah, I, I handled it. Now go win the game. <laughs> it's, I actually, I almost hate to admit it, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm playing artillery in city maps. Almost every freaking map I get is a city map, and I just drive around and, uh, and blast people and sacrifice myself. Now, I did not complete the mission here. I got 1,700 damage, which is, you know, average below average, but I did not get enough stun assist, and I'm not going to finish in the top three. Maybe I should have just got to tier eight. Might have been easier to finish in the top three, because you, you get in tier 10 games more often, and it's easier to get XP as a tier eight in tier 10 games than as a tier nine. So maybe I screwed up, but uh, I, I'm just going to get the missions done and then, you know, put it in the garage. But for each artillery game that I play, victory, I have to balance it out by playing, uh, you know, something I like, like a light tank. And I tell you, even a game like that, uh, which, you know, on Himmelsdorf, not a bad game for artillery, uh, not a great game, but not bad. And like I said, I, I'm not a artillery expert or SPG expert. I just know that, well, P stands for propelled, and I did propel myself around and take shots. <laughs> and, you know, played it like a TD and didn't just sit there. So at least I know that. But I'm not really good. Uh, I haven't played enough to know, you know, for me to give you advice on artillery, except, you know, move when you have to move. Look at the map. But even that game with 1700 damage and some stun assist, it, the, I, I just checked the stats, like, uh, you know, what do you get for that in WN8 and uh, all the stats that everyone follows? And it's utter shit. Like, I'll tell you, oh, if you want to decrease your stats, if you want to ruin your WN8 and your yeah, uh, everything. Uh, well, not win win rate, but you, you're you know the stats that the Unicom. So I'm a 3500 WN8 player. So if you play SPGs, even if you do okay, you get shit uh, WN8, just horrible uh, uh, stats. So I played like 40 games in uh, in uh, SPG, and I I did okay, not great, you know. And, not fat, I'm not a great SPG player, like I said, but but not bad. I've not if if I had me on my team with how I performed, I'd say you know he did okay. Like the WN8 is like 600 or 700, and um, my regular tanks like a light tank or medium tanks is up around I don't know 2,000, 2,300. It's j an unbelievable difference. So I can see why uh, players that play a lot of artillery. Uh, they may have uh, stats that seem low. Uh, maybe they're great artillery players and just the, uh, something about the... Or maybe I'm so bad that I don't understand and there's uh, some really, really good players. But I don't think so because I checked post-game stats on games and uh, 
Uh, it's very rare to have the artillery uh, number one or number two all the time. They're, you know, even if they have a good game, because they're not spotting for themselves. And I don't know if WN8 takes into consideration stun assist yet. I don't, I don't think it does. But anyways, uh, I play artillery, and then uh, I play a couple of games, and then say, okay, I, I got to go back and play a light tank. And now I'm in my, my Russian tier seven. What is this thing? The uh, the LTG. <laughs> this thing, I like playing this thing. I like playing the mobile tanks because I feel like I'm, like I'm, I got more control about moving around and contributing. Like I, I don't have to just stay in one spot uh, at the back and shoot people that my teammates are, are spotting. Oh look, they're all in the forest. I'd be blasting those guys in an artillery. I'd be sitting at A1 now. And I'd probably have 2,000 damage in that beast of a M53, M55. Blasting them all game until right at the end. If your team wins, you you know, victory. And if, you, if your team loses, you're the last to die. And it's not, not completely my stuff. Because you can't... Uh, I mean, you can carry games if you have a great game. But you can't actively go around, uh, change your location, change flanks move around and in this game you notice I started going down the one two line but uh, and now of course one of my teammates is pinging me uh, who is that guy oh he's the uh, the light tank that's dead the guy who died is ping 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 he's pinging my location because he died and so now he feels he has to ping mine I started going down the one two line and noticed that almost my whole team went to the forest so I didn't push it too far because look I've got uh, a couple of TDs that are way back if I pushed it too far I wouldn't get support fire and I'd be dead, right? Like the T92. Ping, ping, ping. I'm dead. What are you doing? Still alive? Ping, ping. I died. You should have died as well. I don't know what he's pinging for. Now I'm going to try and track this guy. Track him. And oh god, I did not try. <laughs> and I took it. Oh, luckily he's got the small gun. Or did he shoot HE at me? I don't know, but he's dead. <laughs> it's so much more fun actually playing the light tanks than artillery. But I'm going to get the, the artillery missions done. And this game, this game is kind of a... Okay, I got to go help my, my buddy here. He's moving in. Oh, that's the E25 is moving in. Here I go. I'm helping you. Oh, fucking artillery. I'm stunned, but that's okay. Yeah. Russian accuracy. Stunned. Whole crew stunned. On the move. Bam! Snap! <laughs> All right. Actually, this is a close game. I have babbled on about... You know, most of my team went to the uh, forest... And that's why I didn't push this line too much. Uh, but my whole team's dead. <laughs> so I guess most of the enemy team went to the forest as well. Hmm. Well, this is precarious. Uh, what do we do here then? I'm going to just... I'm not going to go farther than this. You see, because if they all went to the forest, there could be some kind of in that southeast corner there, the bushy area. And if I just drive into the cap, I'm dead. So screw it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and help my team. I've got a Nash Horn and a, some SPG camping at the base. That's good. Maybe I can get a shot at this guy. E25, you don't want to shoot him? You don't want to shoot him? I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. There you go. Yeah. And there's a Progetto. And he's a one-shot. Okay, let's go get the Progetto. I'm going to kind of sneak around the back here because I don't want to get shot from the forest. And it's just more thinking, playing these mobile tanks. You know, where do I go? Use the terrain. And where the hell did that Progetto go? No, don't take damage, E25. You don't have to take damage. I'm right behind him. Right, is he going to get him? Oh, he got him. Good job, actually. Good job, E25. I don't know how he didn't take damage. Is that Progetto on a full reload? It doesn't make sense. But yeah, one thing I noticed as you watch the end of this close game. This is a close game. And it's going to get closer because my teammates are going to die now. Where are the enemies, you ask? I don't know, they're all in the forest. So driving to the forest in the open would be stupid. Because they're sitting in there in cover, ready to shoot. So a mindset of playing a mobile tank like a light tank and medium tank, completely different than SPGs. And But what I, I was going to say, one thing I learned just on the the one or two days of binging my, uh, my new SPG. Uh, playing SPGs a little bit and just seeing where the line of sight is for you know where they can hit shots where there's because i i aimed at a few spots that i was sure would be in cover and i was able to hit 
and uh, knowing where you have to be on the map uh, to, sh to hit where and all the angles actually helps you or it helps me uh, with my regular tank play afterwards because I'd get the same map I'm in a light tank and I'd go to a spot and say hey wait a minute when I was in my SPG I could hit this spot easily if I was in the southeast corner so then I'd look at the mini map oh there's an SPG spotted in the southeast corner I can get hit here and I thought I was safe so just playing the SPGs I learned a little bit about where on the map oh, let's get this guy look at that I love this little tank and am I spotted Oh, yeah, I am spotted. Better just get the hell out of here. <laughs> Look at this. Shoot him on the move. I actually hit. <laughs> and now I'm just going to... I'm not going in the cap here. I don't want to cap. I just want to get in cover, and I can't run away. So the best thing to do is go behind this house, I think, until I go stealth. Just stay behind the house, and I'm going to... I'm going to disappear here. And now I'm in the cap, and hopefully I'm baiting them. They're going to start moving forward, but I, I'm not interested in capping. I'm just interested... Oh, and I'm fucking spotted again. This is not... See? You cannot out-detect stationary tanks in the bushes. And I'm stunned again. Whoa, I'm stunned again. It, you can't out-detect uh, even SPGs or, or tanks with not very good view range in bushes because they have concealment. Now, am I detected? Oh, shit, I bounced. I am detected. Oh, and he bounced. Ah. <laughs> Touche. I'm, I'm a light tank. Of course he bounced. Ah, good shot. I got the damage assist. Yes. Great play there. And we're actually going to come back. And this isn't a great game in a light tank either. This is just, I think, more thinking, more dynamic, more... Oh, 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 he was there. I have to back up. Just, there's more involved. Uh, you, you can't eat a, a chicken salad sandwich while you play a light tank. Uh, I could uh, when I was playing my SPG. <laughs> and I did a couple of times. But... Like I said, just playing the SPGs, the uh, 40 or 50 games that I've played so far, um, it, I think it improved my gameplay because I learned different spots, different angles, where they can shoot, where they can't shoot. And uh, I'm going to continue to play the SPGs till I, at least I get the first three campaigns done and uh, make a lot of credits and get all those prizes and those female crew members and now let's end this game. Look, I'm going to take a shot, and I've got him lit for my SPG. Good shot. Teamwork. And let me finish it up. And uh, thanks, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed that. I plan on... I'll show you uh, some more SPG games as I get some of the more difficult uh, missions. And when I get mission uh, 15 in second campaign, I'll show you that game. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more of them. And maybe, maybe after I play a few games, I will become more knowledgeable. I did play that S51 like years ago uh, and sucked thoroughly. <laughs> that that Russian, the tier 7, I got it off the KV2 and, and it's been in my garage for two, three years. So I am new to SPGs. My God. Uh, artillery replay on Klaus's channel. Mama said Klaus's channel was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <sighs>